is a wonderfully impressive solo display dance. Combining unusual steps and quite difficult stick work, the dance is a good challenge for more advanced dancers and certainly a crowd pleaser. Originally titled in Manx, Brasnig in Action, the dance was composed by Leighton Stoll after he was inspired by meeting a man collecting gold sticks for firewood in the fields near Craigneesh. We're going to begin by learning the chorus for the dance and then we'll follow on to learn verses one, two and three. The chorus is a little bit tricky so we're going to break it down uh, to show you how it changes in between each verse. So we're going to start uh, with the sticks action and then we're going to do the footwork. So the sticks right hand and the top of the stick goes down and then the bottom of the right hand stick goes up. Yeah, so it goes one, two, and then we do exactly the same with the left. Top of the stick, bottom of the stick, bum. Bum, 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 bum. And you're hitting your sticks from the shoulder, so it's not, okay? One, two, one, two, give it some welling. And how the chorus changes as we go through the dance is we also do a behind the back hit. Now this comes in halfway through the dance. So again, right stick, right hand, top of the stick, hits behind on top, okay? So one, and then we go up, okay, up, down, and then one, up, down. Du, 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 du. Oh, hang on. Du, 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 du. Yeah, that's right. One, du, du, one, du, du. So it changes from the other version that we did at the beginning. Behind, up, down, behind, up, down, behind, up, down, behind. And that's always your right stick. And see how fast you can get it. Now, as well as that, we have the footwork, which makes it even more tricky. It's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. We're going to do the sand step. Now, we're going to start again on the right foot, and it's three move movements. One, two, three. Forward, diagonal, side. Forward, diagonal, side. So if you just practice that to start with, and as well with your left foot, Forward, diagonal, side, forward, diagonal, side. Now, when it's sped up, we add a bit of movement. So, shifting the body diagonally to the right and diagonally to the left. So, up to speed, the sand step goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, one. And with the sticks, it goes one, one, two, three. So it is quite tricky, but you'll get there in the end. Let's try it behind. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep going. One more. Ba, ba, ba. Good, excellent. So that's the chorus, and we'll show you how to introduce that into the dance as we go along. We're going to begin with learning verse one now. Um, and we're going to break it down into stick work and footwork. We're going to begin with the footwork. Now, if you've ever done um, a Manx high reel, very, very similar, just slightly shorter, so a slightly different version of it. So we start with our right foot, as always, and we stamp that in front. Stamp, hop, now we change, and then left. Stamp, hop, change. Stamp, hop, change. Stamp, Hop, change. So up to speed. Let's try that. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two. And it's a nice attack on that stamping, a nice sound with your feet on that one, stamp, hop. Now we have our left foot in the air, once we've done that, and we're going to go travelling forwards. Now it's not a, a Manx real step, it's just a running step. And we're going to go forwards, forwards, two, three, turn to your right, four, five, six, until we're facing the way we came. And we're gonna do a cross back step, right foot coming behind first of all. Cross, back, now right in front, step, together. And all we're gonna do, very simple, is repeat the whole process. So right foot for the stamp, hop, stamp, hop, 
stamp hop, stamp forwards we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, cross back step together. Let's just show that up to speed without the sticks, okay? Ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, 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 three, and four, forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, cross back step together. Same again. One, two, three, that's it, and forwards. Cross back step and finish. Good. Now we come on to the sticks part of the dance to combine with the footwork for verse one. We have our right stick and we're going to use the top of the right stick down on the stick. Okay, and then we lift up, hitting the bottom of the stick upwards. Okay, one, two. And then we change, left hand is up, one, two. And again, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Now how this works with the footwork as well, with your right foot, right stick. So one, two, left two, right two, left two. Then we go forwards, two, three, four, five, six. Now we do a little movement with our sticks that is, we all just turn around and come back so we can see. Right down up now tricky we do a little switch one two now let's just break that down a little bit so we're going to take the right stick down on top of the left we lift the right stick up to hit the left at the bottom we then switch one to take the right stick to the bottom and left stick down so it goes right up left down one two three four one, two, three, four. If we turn around so you can see it from behind, that goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's put both together and let's see how that works. Okay, ready? One, two, three, one, two, three. Forward. Cross back step. Same again. So after the first chorus, we're then, of course, going to go into verse two, which begins exactly the same as verse one. So we do it with the right foot, with the stamp, stamp, hop, stamp, hop, stamp, hop, stamp, hop. Now, instead of going forwards, we're going to go to the side. Now, we lift our right foot to start, right, and we lift our right leg up, and again, right, lift now this foot's in the air and it's going to go round the back round to the back for a cross back step the same as at the beginning one two three four exactly the same now back to the left left leads one lift two lift goes around the back one two three four let's just show just the footwork up to speed okay ready one two three one two three one two Three, four, five, six, to the right. One, two, three, four, cross back step. Two, three, one, left. One, two, and three, and four, left. One, two, cross back step behind. Good. Now with the sticks, again, very similar to the first, first. Right foot, right stick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we just keep our sticks by the side for the siding to the right, three, four. Now as we do that cross back step, right stick comes down, one, two, three, stop. And again, left two, three, four, five, six. Left we go, cross back step. Now there is a slight variation on verse two. Um, if you've been dancing for a while and you've got it, this is quite a nice extra little flourish to add to the sidings. You begin as normal. When you do your sidings, you go side, lift that leg, pass both sticks to the left hand, pass under the leg, catch them, and back to finish off the movement. And back to the left, 
and we go left, lift into the right hand, under. Should we show that up to speed? Yeah. Here we go then. One, two, three, one. Now on to verse three, which is different from verses one and two because we start with a feather step. And again, it's a slightly shortened version of a feather step. I'll show you now. So breaking it down in between sticks and feet, starting with the feet. Right foot out, behind, in front. So normally you would finish it with a side, but we don't do that in this dance. De, de, de. And then we do a quick change to the left. One, behind, in front. Right, behind, in front. Left, behind, in front. And the sticks are the same as we have done for the rest of the dance with the right down, right up. Okay, so together it will be one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Actually quite hard to do slowly, so let's do it up to speed. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, we have our left foot in the air and we're going to do a turn to the left. We leave our sticks alone for this bit. Left, two, three, four, five, six. You can do a single turn or a double turn, whichever you're more comfortable with. And then we go into a crossback step. Right foot goes behind. One, two, three, together. And the same with the sticks as we've done previously. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's just show that section up to speed with the sticks and the crossback step. One, two, three, one, two, three. Turn. Now with the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn right. So the only difference between the first time and the second time is it's all starting on the right for the first time and starting on the left for the second time. And now we're coming to the end of the dance and the final chorus. And this one is a little bit of a challenge um, as we speed up towards the end. So it's the chorus as we've learned, but we're going to go straight into the behind version of the chorus. So we're one, two, three, one, two, three. And we keep going until the music tells us. And the musicians are going to speed up at the very end. Now, if you want to go for it, we're going to, at the very end, we're going to go one, two, we're getting faster, we're getting faster. And you'll move forwards for a finish when the music stops with a high right foot forward, a nice strong finish. Mm -hmm. 